All right, happy Labor Day. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, appreciate the fans on Saturday for showing up. I uh, thought we had a huge student turnout, and, and the Trojan Walk was the best that, that I've been a part of in, in eight years uh, being here both as an assistant as a, and, and as the head coach. I uh, apologize for all those people that showed up. We didn't give them a whole lot of cheer about. So, uh, But I do appreciate them being here. Uh, we were soundly beaten by a better football team. Most of you all were here for the game. You saw that. Um, credit to Coach Harson and their, and their team. Uh, they were ready to go and, and really took control of the game in the second quarter. I thought our guys competed in the second half, and, and we play closer to who we, who we will be moving forward. But they really, they really controlled the game uh, after taking, taking control of it in the second quarter. Uh, quick wrap-up, uh, special teams-wise, much improved from a year ago. Uh, we put a lot of emphasis on it. I thought uh, overall we performed well. Uh, the positives was I thought our kickoff coverage, uh, we did a really good job getting down. I thought Bratcher Underwood had a nice day uh, kicking off. Our punt coverage team, we hold, you know, after giving up uh, a return for a touchdown and a big return a year ago, we hold Avery Williams, who was, I think, it was first team all Mountain West Conference returner to 1.5 yards per return. We, we switched up our punt sch schematics, and I think that paid off. Um, the negatives were the bad snap on the field goal before half. You know, I think if we get that snap, we make the kick, and we, we at least have some positive momentum moving into the locker room because we had a really good two-minute drive there finishing up the half. half. And then I thought we missed some opportunities on the kickoff return. Uh, we had some solid returns, but I thought we had a couple opportunities to take them to the house, and we missed some cuts, or we were one block away. Um, but overall, pleased with special teams. Um, they did they, – you know, they can. They did not contribute to us getting soundly beat. I thought it was an even uh, game on special teams, and I'm proud of the improvement we've we made in that area, and we've got to continue to do that. Uh, defensively, a very disappointing to, uh, performance. Uh, too many explosive plays, zero takeaways. Um, I thought our our communication was poor. I thought our attention to detail was not good enough. Uh, we played much better in the second half, which which was improving. Um, Honestly, we probably needed a wake-up call on that side of the ball. Um, you know, uh, defensively, I thought the offense won both both scrimmages that we had in fall camp. Uh, a lot of you all saw that. Gave up several big plays in both those scrimmages. And um, now to see it in real in a, in a real game, uh, I think it's 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 got our guys' attention now, and hopefully we can get some of those things corrected. Offensively, you know, the four turnovers killed us. Uh, obviously, two of them went right back for touchdowns. Said after the game, I don't, I don't remember that ever happening in my career. Could be wrong. I think it was close to being an NCAA record. Uh, uh, we started slow, which was not overly surprising. Um, you know, in in the biggest issue we had offensively was in our protection. You know, we we gave up five six sacks, which was crazy. You know, I think sixteen. I don't know if we gave up many more than that for the whole season. Um, and we had we had 15 hits on the quarterback, and we gave up 54 yards of, of of negative plays. I saw some real positive. I thought Caleb Barker, in his first opportunities of starting quarterback, I think his official stats. Um, yeah, you know, I think he had an interception, which again I said after the game that was not an interception; that's a drop fumble. Um, but he was on point by my calculation on 25 of the 29 passes that he attempted. And that's a pretty good start right out the gate for your first career start. I thought Sawyer Smith did some nice things. Uh, Jabir Fry uh, was impressive. Uh, he's a guy that I think uh, earned some more opportunities to touch the football. DeAndre Douglas carried over his success from fall camp. And uh, so I was pleased with those guys. thought our guards played well, Kirk Kelly and Tristan Crowder. Uh, and I, I thought Austin Stidham making his first start did, did some good things. Um, I thought we ran the ball pretty well. You know, if you look at it, we were almost 180 yards. Um, but our stats are a little skewed because we had all those negative plays uh, with sacks being taken out. Um, and we had a bunch of explosive plays. So I thought there were some positive things. Obviously, we cannot turn the football. You're not going to be an any quality opponent turning it over four times. Um, you know, wrapping that game up, we got a starting point. Uh, I tweeted about it yesterday. Uh, I think football is a humbling game. It will humble you quickly. And uh, it's a learning experience. We saw one of the best teams in the country right here uh, up, up, up front and personal. I think that's a team that uh, if they can stay healthy has an opportunity uh, to make a run at it here as the season goes. Uh, I'm not sure that's not the best team that's ever played right here. Um, my best opposing team that's ever played here. You know, I, you know, you, you can't win arguments like that. But I, I was impressed with how they played on Saturday, um, and, and 
And honestly, there's a lot to learn from how they, how they approach the game, uh, how they play the game. I'm going to use some examples of them with our football team today because I, 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 I think they play the game the right way from a physicality standpoint, from an effort standpoint. We're going to use those guys as a point of reference moving forward. Uh, it's been a long time since we were beaten like that. You know, I, you go back to uh, really um, the Arkansas State game, the second half in 2016, uh, but it's been a, it's been a long time. You know, it's been a, it's been a long time, and and those those type of defeats hurt. Uh, but I think life's about how you respond to adversity. And uh, my man Jocko talks about its its response, and it's Jocko Willink in in his book, and talks about the response is good. So we got hit in the mouth, and we're gonna see how we respond. I hope it's good, and we get better from moving forward. Uh, moving on to this week, uh, play Florida A and M. Uh, second se- consecutive home game. Uh, I, I encourage our fans to to come out, and we'll be a much improved football team. Uh, I know Florida A&M being close, they're going to travel well. Uh, there's a lot of excitement in that program right now. Uh, it's an old rivalry. If you go back to Troy State back in the one AA days, it's an old rivalry game. Um, you know they're coming off a big win. Uh, Willie Simmons, who's their head coach, he's from that area, so there's a lot of excitement with him being back. You know, I've known Willie for a long time, really um, uh, respect his, his football knowledge overall, really respect him as an offensive football coach. He's had a lot of success at Middle Tennessee. He was at Middle when, when I was here uh, as an assistant coach, and they did a great job, had some really good battles against those guys back in the, in the late 2000s. Um, and then he went to Alcorn State, and they resurrected that program when he was offensive coordinator. And then he was head coach at Prairie View and, and took that program to new heights. And, and, the, and these guys, there's a distinct difference. You watch them a year ago to that game they played on Saturday, and they had a, they had a decisive win. So on offense, they're multiple. They get the ball uh, to a bunch of different guys. They had a big uh, rushing attack on Saturday defensively. A lot of team speed. Um, they've got some guys that, that – um, are undersized, but really physical, really aggressive. Thought they got to the ball. They create did some havoc. And on, on special teams, they did a nice job. They got a good kicker. I, I was impressed with what he got done. Um, they didn't have to punt very many times. So, um, you know, I think we'll see some, some different things out of their punt team. But uh, going to be a good challenge. You know, I think uh, we're going to celebrate the 50th, 50th anniversary of our 1968 national championship team. So, you know, it's uh, – it's kind of funny, Sim Bird, Sim Bird and the boys will be back in town, and, and it, that's reason alone to come out and, and support uh, just for those guys. You know, it, it's funny, I've been calling plays here for, I guess this is going to be year six, and we've been trying to break Sim and those guys' records every year. We can't get it done. So, uh, so you know, they were, they were far uh, uh, in front of their time as far as throwing the football and those things. So it's going to be a – it's going to be a big weekend, and, and we're looking forward to, to get back and, and, and playing the game of football the right way. So with that, I'll take questions. Coach, it's only been a short amount of time since Saturday, but how has the team kind of responded with practice yesterday and kind of what you've just seen from this short amount of time? Well, yesterday's their off day for us, just So to, uh, when we get together here in a little bit, I think our first meeting's at 2.30 today. Uh, now a lot of them are in the facility yesterday, which I think's, you know, on their day off when they come in, I think that's a positive sign. You know, what I want to see out of them today is just ownership. You know, ownership of the fact that 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 we didn't get it done. And there's clear areas where we have to be better and we have to improve. Um, I think, uh, you know, the way we performed in the second half, really I've, I'm coming out of that game a lot more positive than maybe the final score indicates. Um, but I think our football team will respond the right way. I don't know because it's the first time we've had any real adversity. But I said after the game, my gut tells me that they'll respond the right way and we'll have a great week of practice, great week of preparation, and we'll be ready to go on Saturday night. What's going to be the biggest point of emphasis just this week heading into that game against Florida A&M? Yeah, strain. You know, I'm, I'm going to show them a, you know, a, a video of Boise today um, in all three phases and really show them, you know, that if that's one of the, the top teams in the country, which I believe it is, um, how they strain, how, how their attention to detail, how their fundamentals um, are the reason that outcome was like that two nights ago. And so um, I just want us to get back to playing physical, playing hard, playing the game the right way, uh, trusting each other, communicating. Um, you always make your biggest improvement between week one and week two. 
uh, for us, it's uh, there should be a huge improvement because how poorly we played the first half. So uh, I think everybody's pretty excited about getting back on the practice field. How did you come out of the game? You know, relatively healthy for how physical a game it was. And I thought it was a physical game. Um, uh, Kirk, Kirk Kelly, starting left guard, got beat up a little bit there at the end of the game. Um, he'll probably be a game-time decision, as will Trayvon Sanders. Um, he uh, he got rolled up there. Um, you know, I thought a lot of it would depend just how both those guys progress. Uh, Juwan McDowell's the other one. So, um, everybody else, you know, other than having their feelings hurt, are, uh, will be will be ready to go on Saturday. Okay. I mean, yeah, he is. He just kind of – he it was it was a really weird uh, fall. Um, but it, it, and it was on his knee that, that – where he had the ACL injury. But he, he's fine. He just got kind of caught behind him. Aside from numbers in production, how did you think Caleb administered the game, ran the offense? Yeah, I thought he did it. You know, I, I said this after the game. I, I, and I feel I've, I've watched it about three times since. Um, I thought he did a nice job. I thought he was under control. I never thought the moment was too big for him. Um, you know, he's got to take care of his body better. Um, you know, he and I were just talking about that a few minutes ago. He's got to do a better job, Barry, of of protecting himself when he does pull down the run, you know. And, and, and he's going to run. I mean, that's part of his game, and I'm not trying to hold him back from that. I'm for him when he scrambles around. He made a bunch of big plays the other night against a quality defense doing that. Um but he's got to he's he's got to protect himself, and he's got to take better care of the of the ball in in the pocket. His ball security's got to be better. The second the sack fumble is hey, they beat us up front. You just need to get down and let's play second down. Don't try to don't try to make something when there's a bunch of different colored jerseys around you. You said you've seen it three times. Um, does it look different each time? Or you know. I think it's well. Yeah, there's a couple. There's there's a couple of different things. You know, if you look at, you know, um, when you look at it from an offense from an offensive standpoint, there's some real positives in that game. You know, if if and you can't take it out just. Be, but if you if you take away those negative yardage plays, which some of them come on these fumble recoveries, you know, the production that we had on offense versus that level of defense was pretty good you know our efficiency in the past game was pretty good um so i think there's some real positives that you take out of that um we gotta we gotta protect the passer better and we gotta take care of the football those are clearly where our achilles heel the other night um now i'm not sure versus that quality defense we could have got into a score match versus that team um now when i watch it on special teams again i'm encouraged because um, that's a group that, that really took advantage of us on special teams a year ago, and I thought we played extremely well on special teams. I thought uh, schematically and, and effort-wise and, and, and coverage, we played we played really well. And we I'd like to see us continue that as we go through the year. When you look at it defensively, it's a different story. Uh, really discouraging uh, just because we got hit with so many big plays. Um, and and I thought that, that we – we didn't do a good job of communicating. We, we put ourselves in, in some bad situations. Uh, now, we did play more, more like we're accustomed to playing in the second half, but it, by then it was too late. Disappointing play on defense, but how would you grade the overall stopping the run, which was a big Yeah, so, yeah, there are some positives, no, no doubt. There were some positives. We, stopped, we, we did a better job of – well, I'll say that I don't know. We, we, we did a great job stopping the run last year. Um, I thought we did a pretty good job the other night. Um, the quarterback got out of the pocket a couple times and hurt us. Um, we did a much better job covering the running back than we did a year ago. Those couple things were, were positives. Um, so there were some takeaways from there. I just overall, I know this. So we're going to have to play defense at a much higher level than what we played on Saturday night. Mm-hmm. What's always the mindset you bring in after a loss and getting your team prepared for the next game? Each loss is different. You know, this was this is a this was a loss that that should be that should awaken uh, some folks. Uh, I think this is a loss that we've got to grow from. Um, this loss, I said this a week ago Monday. Um, you know, that game wasn't going to make or break our season. Every goal that we have. Um, that we have both in-house and 
as far as a fan base is concerned, is still there. And so we've got to get better. You know, it starts this week, uh, Florida A&M. You know, we need to protect our home turf, which we didn't do a very good job on Saturday. So uh, we need to take pride in playing here at home and playing well. And, and we didn't do that uh, a couple of nights ago. So, but each loss is different. You know, some losses that you got that you feel like uh, you let them slip away. You know, that game was not slipped away. <laughs> All right. You know what I mean? Like that, that, that was a sound that we were soundly beaten. Um, but we're going to use it as a learning curve and, and move on and, and not, not overly dwell on it as far as and we're not going to beat our kids up about it. You know, it is what it was. They beat us. Here's why they beat us. Let's make correction. Let's get ready to play this week.